My name is Sasha Krupnik. I'm a professor of surgery, chief of thoracic surgery, and the surgical director of the lung transplant at University of Maryland School of Medicine. I came to the University of Maryland in 2020. Uh, before that, I did most of my training and most of my career at Washington University in St. Louis and spent a little bit of time at the University of Virginia in Charlottesville. Thoracic surgery is a great specialty. It's one of the few specialties left where you get to deal with a lot of different problems. So my practice, for example, involves lung transplantation, cancers, uh, cancers of the esophagus, cancers of the lung, as well as benign disease of the esophagus and the stomach. So it provides uh, a variety and I can do a lot of different uh, services for my patients, some of which have problems in multiple areas. So after successful transplantation or resection or part of a multimodality treatment of lung cancer, patients get their life back from not having it and I think that's the most exciting part. I and my team are very dedicated to their care. So, you know, our approach is patient-centric, and what we realize is that not, the treatments aren't necessarily cookie-cutter standardized. So, in fact, you know, I just finished this morning with a patient who had the option of having an operation as part of her care versus radiation therapy. And the key is for surgeons and everybody else to present the whole kind of spectrum of care and let the patient decide on what they're comfortable with. And that's, I think, one of the advantages of a large medical center like uh, University of Maryland. You have access to all the cutting edge trials. You have access to multiple physicians who are experts in their field. So I think that's an important thing for the patients to know that if they come here, I mean, you're gonna get what's available now. The other exciting thing about the University of Maryland is that the research we're able to do, we're not just following the guidelines, we're setting the guidelines, we're advancing the care. Uh, the research that we do in the lab is literally translated into the clinic within a couple of years. So we're able to do that at this institution because of the depth and the breadth and the resources that we have that a lot of other institutions, you know, on the East Coast or anywhere do not uh, have the ability to do.